published 0206 EDT, the 27th of October 2017 updated 0253 EDT, the 27th of October 2017 Just as the east coast of Australia starts to recover from the recent supercell storm, a second wild weather system will hit this weekend. But instead of the golf ball-sized hailstones and lashings of lightning that has already impacted, Sydney will face extreme heat of 30 degrees, and severe fire warnings will be in place for Adelaide. Temperatures more than 10 degrees above average are forecast for Adelaide, along with gusty winds and possible thunderstorms. Instead of golf ball-sized hailstones and lashings of lightning, Sydney pictured will face extreme heat of 30 degrees, and severe fire warnings will be in place for Adelaide and although Melbourne enjoyed weather 8 degrees above average on Friday, showers are expected later tonight. On Friday the Bureau of Meteorology predicted a low-pressure system would move across New South Wales this weekend, with isolated thunderstorms set to ease by Sunday, but they also admit that the warmer temperatures are not unusual for this time of year. However, the latest climate outlook suggests Sydney, Melbourne, Hobart, Adelaide and Darwin should all brace for above-average temperatures throughout November, December and January as summer takes off. A supercell storm battered the east coast with massive dumps of rain but it's not over yet huge hailstones and lashings of lightning have hit New South Wales and Queensland and more wild weather is on the way. The Bureau of Meteorology has issued severe thunderstorm warnings for Thursday night for New South Wales and Queensland and cancelled a severe thunderstorm warning for Victoria. The experts warn severe thunderstorms are expected to produce large hailstones, damaging wind gusts and heavy rainfall that may lead to flash flooding. The Bureau of Meteorology said golf ball-sized hailstones hit Mount Maroon, near the border of Queensland and New South Wales and Thursday there were reports that hailstones hit Mount Maroon, near the border of Queensland and New South Wales while hailstones of up to 5 centimetres have lashed parts of New South Wales. The experts warned severe thunderstorms were expected to produce large hailstones, damaging wind gusts and heavy rainfall that may lead to flash flooding. The Bureau of Meteorology released a number of separate weather warnings for the two states. Flash flooding, large hailstones, damaging wind gusts and heavy rain causing flash flooding were possible in Newcastle, Gosford, Canberra, Gowelbourne, Port Macquarie, Lismore, Coffs Harbour, Terry and Orange. Destructive wind gusts were also possible in the Lower Hunter region, along with giant hailstones. Damaging winds and large hailstones were also expected to impact on several parts of Queensland including Ipswich, Toowoomba, Emerald and Blackwater on Thursday night. Wind gusts of up to 89 km per hour were recorded at Toowoomba before 5 p.m. on Thursday. Hail the size of 50-cent coins fell on Australia's east coast, with storms set to hit northern New South Wales and central Queensland. The wild storms have caused some flights to be delayed or cancelled at Canberra Airport. Severe thunderstorm warnings previously issued for Victoria have been cancelled. Australia's east coast was warned to brace for large hail and strong winds as thunderstorms pictured hit NSW in Queensland, potentially creating very dangerous supercells. The most powerful storm so far this season formed on Thursday morning in the ranges and moved to the coast in the afternoon. Lashing the region from eastern Victoria to central Queensland with intense rain, weather zone meteorologist Graham Britton told Daily Mail Australia. On Tuesday, the Bureau of Meteorology said there was a good chance of a La Nina weather pattern, which could bring intense rain, storms, and cyclones throughout the summer months. The chance of a La Nina forming in late 2017 has increased. Chances are now around 50% twice the normal likelihood, the Bureau said. On Tuesday, Baum said there was a good chance of a La Nina weather pattern, which could bring intense rain, storms and cyclones throughout the summer months.